YouTube, it's Brian Phillips. Look at this. We've got a rock crawler. 112th scale. This thing comes ready to run. A little bit of assembly required. You got to put some fenders on. And it's very cool. Four wheel drive, but a little bit cheaper than some of the other offerings we've been offering lately. And so we hope that you guys will enjoy it. We're going to give it a run right now before the sun sets. Comes with everything you need in the box, with the exception of the two double A's mm -hmm. that go on the transmitter. It does come with a lithium ion battery and charger, and we're going to see how it does on our little off road track. So far, so good. It's doing the grass just fine. Lights do come on and off, definitely has turn signals. We've had a little bit of rain this week, so we're going to see how this thing does. So far, so good, though. It seems like it's geared a little bit higher than some of the recent offerings we've been bringing to you. And it's doing really good for a 112 that's definitely reaching the ground nicely. We've got good ground clearance here. It's a little bit more Johnny on the spot than some we've seen in recent history. And I can definitely say that it is a lighter car. Careful mm -hmm. you don't fall. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I want to show them some high speed moves here. Okay. Oh yeah. That's about the full speed there, folks. So let's try going up these hills. Very capable. I love the lights. Yeah. Kind of surprised how well this thing is doing. I am too. Generally speaking, when we get away from the name brands, we kind of get a little bit lower quality, but I almost feel like even though the components are maybe a bit cheaper on this car, it's getting around super nice, like really surprisingly really good. It's... uh. It's not as impressive looking as some of the bigger brands we've seen when you get up close, but I got to say, it's actually handling the terrain a lot better than expected. The, you know, we've been complaining on some of the other ones that they have those top lights, but they're not functional. Yeah, I know. So those lights one, are cool. I'm going to take this steep, steep hill okay. and see if we can do it. Mountainous terrain. This is a crawler after all, and I love all of our little tracks. That's so cool. Is, is there more than one gear? Um, if there is more than one gear, I don't know how to change it because there's only a throttle rate button. Still I just clicked. Up. Oh, this looks like that's like a slower speed. Uh-oh. So watch this. This is full speed and throttle rate low. I can't tell. Is there any difference it to you? I can't really tell a difference. But you no. can see a difference because it flashes its lights yeah. at you. Yeah. Hmm. And then there's two, and then there's one. So I don't know what the difference is. I think there's a high and low speed, but I would say that right now, the high speed is what we're in. Then when I switch to that one, oh, did you see the lights flash? Look. Yeah. When you stop, the brake lights do come on. Oh. I take it back. Oh no, oh. everybody died. I was just gonna say, you hadn't rolled it well, yet. Well, I was just gonna say, do you wanna drive this one, Cam Crew? Yeah, I will. Okay, here. I'll treat you. Yeah, because Cam Crew hasn't been driving much lately. There she is. See, I think it's super easy to drive. Yeah. I'm actually super impressed with it. I thought for sure. Have you gone back at all? Yeah. After we saw, the way that it unboxed. And by the way, if you want to see the unbox build radio setup, we'll be doing that in just a few minutes when we're done driving. There you go. But I'm super impressed with how well this thing drives. I am too. I thought for as light as it was, that it was maybe just gonna roll a it, lot more. Right, I know, but it's actually, why don't you go over that direction there? You want me to see if I can get out of here? Well, you can if you want to. Well, we could go drive it in the grass. Yeah, try that. So I don't feel like it has enough power. Go back now. See if you can just get a straighter shot. I don't know why I'm always the one that drives out of here. Like I know what I'm doing. It's doing pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I'm it's just, surprised. it just doesn't have enough oomph. Here, it do you doesn't. want me to try now? Yeah, see if you can get it. Okay. I don't think it's going to be anything too crazy. I just think it's just one of these things where you got to go at a bit of an angle maybe on this one. It's got, it's got plenty. I, I wonder if maybe it's like losing power because you notice the lights flash. Oh. I wonder if that's what's going on. 
Oh, no, it's still burning out, though. You suppose if it was dead, it wouldn't be burning out, right? I doubt it. That ditch is really steep. I'd it is. See. It's really hard to tell. It's a good test, though, because when you get something that's really special, it'll make it. Yeah. And to be honest, we're not real nice on these cars. Like, see here, I know I've crashed it twice, which is unusual. We haven't crashed too many times before this. I think we should run it up and try it in the grass. Yeah, I think we should, too. Let's see if we can get out the way we came. Yeah. I want to try this speed setting. Did it just flash at it you? It did. See, that got me out of the hole a lot easier hmm. that time. Maybe Order. it's just real subtle. Yeah, could be. Oh, I'm going to press so the speed button again. Yeah. Ooh, I'm going to press the speed button again. Oh, yeah, that there was more go. power. Yeah. Okay, so I wonder if it's just changing the amount of voltage it goes to the motor or something. Because it definitely is... Definitely seems to do better when you're in one of those kind of bound up areas. On the grass, it's doing just fine. Definitely one thing I can tell between this being that it's a little bit more economy than the other choices we've reviewed recently is that it bounces more. But to be kind of, you know, to be fair, I think it looks still fun. Yeah. I don't mind a little bit of bounce of those vehicles anyway, because in real life, they're bounced too. I like that the turn signals actually work. And honestly, I kind of like the simplicity of this car too. I feel like our younger children will like this a little bit better because it's just easier. There's less complexity to the controller. Yeah. And I definitely feel like I'm not as nervous with it because it's a little bit simpler build. And even though it's a little bit less detailed, it's got a lot of detail. So I would say let's go up to the short grass up in the front yard and give it a shot. Okay, so we're gonna go into the front yard grass. That grass is more of like off-road sort of style grass. This would be more like in-town grass because we had sod up here, 30 feet out from the house. And so as you can see, it's handling the grass just fine. It kind of feels like it's on the edge of getting caught, but it doesn't seem to get caught. And we didn't cut the grass this last time I normally would have cut it one more time, but they were taking our power lines down. But it's doing really good. It's fun to drive. It's not an overly difficult car to drive. And it definitely has a lot of power, which is the things I want in an RC car. Now, I also think it's kind of cool. There is a light that's on this thing when you're giving throttle. And so you can definitely tell that it's putting signal out, which is kind of cool. But I don't know exactly the reason for it. <laughs> So anyway, guys, just like always, we could drive these things for hours, but you kind of get the idea. 112th ready to run rock crawler. This is a little something that you could put on your gift list idea, and it's not gonna set you back too far. All the doors, well, the front door's open, and then I believe this back window pops out if you want, but you can see the windows are open there, which is kind of cool. And I love the fact that the lights are on. So check it out, guys. If you want to help support our channel, you can buy this from the link in the video description below. You can also support us by becoming a Patreon, which is right there, or PayPal if you like one-time support. And then if you're curious about the unbox and what we did for the build, there was a little bit of assembly required on this, then stay tuned. We're going to have that immediately following this video. So thanks for watching. So much more coming from Brian Phillips RC. We appreciate you guys. Best audience in YouTube history. YouTube, Brown Phillips. We have a box. We're gonna open it. Looks like it's in a garbage bag. We've seen this before. Hmm, what do we have here? Well, we have a shipping label, so I'll put that in my pocket. Oh boy, look at that. It is some sort of a Jeep thing. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope it survived that. We're it's gonna find out right now. It's a rock crawler. It's the, uh... is that a word? No, Tr well, troc? through. It's through truck? Through truck? I think it's supposed to be tough, would tough. be my guess. Yeah, it's kind of like a translation error. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's see. I mean, these pack this package has seen uh, probably a little bit better days. Yeah, even before you dropped it. Supposed to be ready to run, but we're going to find out if it survived. I mean, if it's that tough, it shouldn't mind a little UPS and FedEx action there. 
Okay, we'll just put that thing in the background. Okay, so what do we have here? That's the handle to the box. Okay, looks like we've got some bumpers and things. And then this is evidently the main event. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is a truck and it comes with lights on the top. I can tell they're gonna be lit. And then this is just a spring-loaded suspension. Looks like four-wheel drive. You can definitely tell they've got some nicer squishy tires. And it's definitely not gonna be up to snuff with some of the recent reviews we've done. But the thing is, it's still pretty dang good. And as you can see, we got protection on the lights. So let's check this out real quick. Pistol grip, radio, transmitter, it looks like. And what the heck is that thing on the front for? It's very weird. This thing is huge. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's got a squishy wheel here, and it looks like it's also got a thumb lever, which is nice if you want to use that. It's almost like this is a protective cover, but I can't quite tell. Hmm. And this looks to be basically just plastic, so we'll set that aside for later. And uh, yeah, that worked out good. And we have a regular charger. And it looks like this charger goes into the USB port, of course, and it puts out a 2S. So there's three wires, okay. 2S charge, oh, what's this? There's a power switch down here. It says on or off, there's on. Let's open the hood. Okay, looks like a NICAD battery, but is it? Nope, it's a lot, lithium ion. And uh, 7.4, okay, so let's go ahead and charge it. First thing we're gonna do is charge it and then we're gonna look at the bumpers. I think you have to install the bumpers on this car. So this is a model 1860, or excuse me, 18,650, which is a 1200 milliamp, 8.8 .8 watt hour, which is a 7.4 volt lithium ion battery. Okay, so we have to provide our own wall outlet, wall USB adapter. So we'll plug that in. Oops, I'll do it this way so you can see. There's a red and red and green flashing. This is a keyed plug. Okay, it is proprietary. So then it goes to a solid light, it looks like. No, or it's no, really it's like a green light. So maybe it's already charged, I'm not sure. We're gonna let that run for a few minutes. Okay. Actually, let's see if we can plug it into a voltage alarm. Or the XPC battery checker. I do not know if this adapter is gonna fit. If it doesn't, yeah, that doesn't look like it's gonna line up well because our negative is over here, but I bet a voltage alarm will. Our standard voltage alarm will probably reach into these pins. That's what I mean by a voltage alarm, just like that. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we got eight volts. So we're four, <laughs> four volts per cell. So we'll go ahead and plug this in while we're working on getting everything built and let that charge and then we'll check it with this. Now you can't use the XPC battery checker on it because it's not a Hextronics balance lead, but that is both the balance and discharge lead on this application. So we see that from time to time. It's not a big deal on cars. I do also note that there's a zip tie that goes through here and I think it's holding this roof rack on. So that's a little bit strange. Hmm. And that snaps down and clicks, which is nice. Looks like there will be some assembly required on this if you wanna add all the scale features. Okay, there's some interesting instructions. They're probably gonna ask us to pack a lunch in there. <laughs> and then these are fender protectors, which is pretty cool. So it looks like these snap in around here. I've not seen an, an RC car that we have to assemble yet in our Surface Wednesdays. I don't even know if this is gonna appear on a Surface Wednesday, but we are um, it, assuming it will. We've been doing Surface Wednesdays here on Brian Phillips RC. Oh, here it does show you where all those go if we get into a... Into a bind. It seems pretty self-explanatory to me. It's the installation method of the pro productive car shell. Oh my goodness. Spelling okay. was maybe a little bit yeah, I think the speller, the spell checker <laughs> got fired before they shipped this out. Yes. But that's okay, because we figured we it out. We figured it out. Okay, so it is kind of fun doing some of these assemblies. Of course, we didn't plan on doing these assemblies. So, of course, the day we do it right before sunset. 
Okay. We're gonna run into a time crunch. But guys, here on Brian Folks RC, we do the unbox, build, and radio setup if one exists. And so we always try to bring you the best RC products. And if they're not the best RC products, you can make up your own mind and decide what you think of them. In this case, uh, if you could just read that information to me, that'd be great. Yeah. There I... is, looks like five Phillips screws and then a Phillips screwdriver. I'm not sure why they included that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just found the answer. It's for the crash. It's for the guard. crash guard. Yeah, it looks like that goes up here with two Phillips screws. So let's go ahead and get that on. Obviously you wanna protect your cars because these things are sometimes pretty expensive, but this is gonna be one of the exceptions because it's an inexpensive option. And we like to bring the inexpensive options from time to time as well. Uh, just mostly because we know everybody is on a limited budget. And plus sometimes you're looking for gift ideas. Although keep in mind, if you buy this for a kid, you're gonna have to do some assembly, not necessarily a big problem. And kids might actually enjoy that process, but just keep that in mind. So two screws to hold that front cattle guard or whatever they call those things. You could check the Chinese manual and see what yeah, they call I'm it. Yeah, sure I'm they sure it's totally accurate. know. They actually don't have it even being installed. Oh, really? Huh? Looks okay. like you're gonna have some door handles. And okay. some windshield wipers and mirrors. Sweet. Okay. Well, it already looks a lot better, yeah, actually. Yeah, really, I'm really happy with that Those details are nice. And then what I want to do is I want to have the camera crew look at this real quick. And she's going to help us to determine what we need for batteries in there. Probably four AAAs is my guess. Probably. I'm going to get side cutters so I can cut that one zip tie. If you guys don't have side cutters, you can use a pair of scissors to cut these things. It's just depends on how thick the component is, Looks whether like or not we, you're gonna be able to get it. We're gonna need two double A's. Do you mean to grab those while you're just getting little two. parts That's apart? Just two, weird. Yeah. Okay, see this? I'm gonna cut that. Okay. And then I'm gonna decide, okay, well, it looks like when that cut free, this is still on there. So I'm not sure why they had that, that zip there. tie. Oh, it held the door shut. I bet the door's open. Yep, that's oh. what it was. Pretty cool. It's like a, a simple detail inside, but it's still cool. And then door handles and windshield wipers. So let's see how the windshield wipers go on. Sometimes the wiper blades seem to be the first thing to break on all these cars we yes. get. It's because our son thinks they should all move. Well, he has to try moving them yes. too. I think it goes this way, right? Kind of hard to tell Nope, actually. actually it goes the other way. Oh. Pointed like towards the passenger. Yeah according to the directions. Well, I know, but I guess I'm just trying to say, I, there we go, I got it to stay. See, but it's not staying. There's also See, a- It's at an angle. There's also a rear one. Are they different? Oh, I bet that's what this is then, because it's got a steep, steep, steep angle on it. And this one's supposed to be down, isn't it? That's yes. totally what it is. Okay, folks, sorry for that. Yep, that's totally what it is. Okay. That one kind of lines up there. And then there's door handles. They're all kind of labeled too. It says R and L, that must be for the mirror. Yep, those are the front wipers. Let's see how these things, which way does the handle go? Does it go forward like this? Or does it go backward? I can't tell. I cannot either. Hmm, well that's not a Taller very Taller bump to the back. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, that looks fine. I don't know, does it say on the picture? No, that looks about right. So it's not a hard build. It's just basically like a snap tight, snap together sort of model, which is pretty cool. I mean, I would love this as a kid, being able to build this. I must say the tires are not quite as insane as we've seen on some of the competitive offerings. They're definitely a little bit more firm. But the thing is, I mean, for being a crawler, I'm sure it's still gonna get the job done. And that definitely looks a lot better. It dresses it up a ton. Should I go grab some double A's while you put in those last two? Handles? Um, actually, I'm putting on mirrors right now. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna put the mirrors on. You can see that slips into the mirror holder here. And then do they come with decals at all? That's what I was trying to figure out because it looks like there's a shiny piece, but, but I have not, not seen piece. anything that would be a decal. I don't think it's a shiny piece. I just think it's just a regular piece and there's definitely no reflective on it. Mm -mm. So I think we're just gonna build it as is and everything else is just the same as what we've seen. 
So why don't I get the other mirror and then the camera crew can go ahead and grab some batteries. Okay, so we got all the door handles on while the camera crew was getting some batteries. And so now we're just working on the windshield wipers. And I think these ones are gonna go here. Is that right? Yes. I can't tell. Yeah. It looks, looks like it could be right. I don't know, hon. I'm not sure if that's right. That's definitely the smaller one. Mm -hmm. So that definitely goes there. But then it's supposed to go up like a smiley face. Okay. They show them kind of pointed towards the passenger side from the driver's side. Okay. Well, they're kind of tricky to get on, but once you get them on there, I feel like you got to put them up the window a little bit or they don't stay. Mm. And then as you can see, we actually got an extra handle for the door and then everything else is out. So if you see the frame, totally emptied out. So that's good. So it's kind of a fun little process. It's not a especially difficult build. It's just a, a step that we weren't expecting, but it definitely dresses it up a lot. Yes. So that's, I would say it's worth it. I'm disappointed there's no decals though. Are you sure there's not decals that we just missed? Did you? I didn't see them anywhere. I didn't either. They definitely didn't fall out. Mm -mm. Well, I guess that's the way it is. Unless so, this says order your decals here, but I don't order know. Order your decals. Okay, yeah, I don't think that's what's going on. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a second and get batteries into the transmitter. And so that should be pretty easy. So just to be clear, we got three extra screws. I don't know why three. And then we got an extra doorknob. So I guess if you need that, you've got it for later. I could see losing a doorknob yeah. So it's probably not a terrible idea, but then again, it's a little bit uh, arbitrary if you ask me to come with three extra screws and a doorknob. So my guess is they probably didn't mean to give you that many, or maybe there's another option that comes with this that would require it. Okay, so the bottom does come completely off and it looks like the positive, usually the spring touches the negative and the positive is gonna go down there. These are double A's, not triple A's. I think I may have mentioned triple A's. Okay, you can see this is definitely on. There's a steering trim, throttle rate, light switch, on, off, and then I'm not sure what these, these are not buttons. They just are simulated buttons. Okay. A little bit strange. I don't know why we would need to simulate buttons. And then just looking at the box, I don't see anything else that we missed, do you? No, and it doesn't, you can't see the back of it, so it's hard to see if there would be any other decals or something like we talked about that. Well, I just don't wanna, I don't wanna shortchange it because I feel like it's probably an all right. It is a 112th scale. 112th scale, yep, we knew that part. Okay. And then let's plug this in and see what type of voltage we've got. So we're 8.07, so we're just short of full yeah. charge because uh, 8.4 volts would be would be about right. So 4.2 times two would be 8.4. Okay, so you kinda, kinda have a finger now to get that popped open. Goodness gracious. I don't think there's really a, a hood pop on this thing. Do you see any other ideas? I don't, it doesn't Can your like... finger now get it? Here, I might be able to reach underneath. Nope, can't. Well, that's the first problem I know. Oh, wait, wait, snap, oh, snap. I'm... Sorry folks, that was too obvious. Once you snap, it pops free. Okay. Drop this down in here and plug it in. And it is keyed, so you only have one direction it'll go. Okay, very good. We've got some nice bright LEDs, snap and snap. And then as you can see, we've got steering, proportional controls. We've got steering signals, wheels with cool. turn signal. And then, ooh, nice. Wow. That's pretty sweet. I really like the fact that it's got the turn signals. Mm -hmm. There's reverse, but there's no brake lights or reverse lights, it's just on lights. Now I'm gonna press the light switch button. You can turn them on or you can turn them off. Doesn't look like there's anything in the middle and it's definitely four wheel drive. I can tell it's kind of chirping as it turns because the differential doesn't quite keep up with the bite on the countertop here. So lights on, lights off. And uh, everything else is pretty much as expected on a radio controlled car. So now this is a crawler, so it's not gonna be super, super speedy, but I do actually kind of appreciate that we've got 
The lights just turned off on me. I'm not sure why they turned off. I don't realize, I don't think I turned them off, but they just turned off. Okay. So, all right guys, there you have it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this thing outside before the sun sets totally and give you a shot of it outside. But hopefully we answered any questions you may have had on the unbox and build, which is not much of anything. Uh, but at the end of the day, if you do get this car or this truck and you're wanting to assemble it, we wanna make sure we answer as many of your questions as possible in the video. So please, ah, there we go. Please make sure you snap those in because they do not always snap. And the three of them are actually quite easy to get, but it's the third one that makes the purchase for all the other two. So very cool car. Hopefully it's fast enough. I feel like it's gonna be kind of a slower, but it is a crawler. And so this is designed to crawl up hills and down hills and things like that. So hopefully you guys will pick this up for yourself or as a gift for one of your children or yourself. And uh, you can check for the link in the video description below and help support us by buying it from those links. And also if you maybe don't care for this car and you want something else we've reviewed in the past, if you stay tuned, we'll have some playlists that come up around here and you can click on those and follow right to our surface vehicles. Uh, or if you're into aircraft like we're used to doing more often here on Brian Phillips RC where we do predominantly fixed wing helicopters, aviation related stuff, then you can follow that too. Or you could check us out on brianphillipsrc.com which is our website where you can sort through the millions and millions of different items that we've reviewed, <laughs> which actually more like thousands. But even still, we appreciate you guys checking out the videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell for notifications. And if you wanna become a Patreon and help support us here on this channel, that's also right at the top of the list down below. But check out these cars, trucks, helicopters, airplanes, quads, and things that we review. You'll help us to build partnerships with all these companies that we work with, and that helps us to build clout so we can bring you new and exciting products. So thanks for being with us here on Brian Phillips RC.